Hi everybody, it's a good evening, a beautiful evening out here today, a, a beautiful Saturday and uh, I did all my house chores and housekeeping and yard work day before so I played all day with this guy here. I'm done with the frame. Um, so uh, a little change, I, was, I should have been done in the morning and literally as I was soldering the inside frame, the reinforcement, the box frame, I like to call it. Uh, as I was soldering, I said, you know what? Uh, I got to stretch this frame out. And the reason being is um, I actually am not using the stock wheels on this. They were just horrible, unsavable, just destroyed. So I went ahead and uh, because the story is this is my rig, I pulled all of the weeds along with the freight liner and I restored it and I use it to work uh, uh, I cut I fixed it to my taste so uh, I went ahead and ordered the set of super singles for the rear and the floaters up front and uh, plus with the headache rack uh, the original length frame the length of the original frame it would have made my diamond reel a little bit too boxy. And I've seen them with big wheels, super singles, floaters, and the original frame, and they look just too boxy and short. So uh, what I did is I went ahead and stretched out the frame after I, and um, reinforced that also. Um, and yeah, it's, this is going to be a fun project. As you can see, the super singles, the floater, the cab, and um, the, the headache rack won't eat up all the real estate on the frame. It'll give it a nice, clean, open look without looking like a, a show truck, which is not the look I'm going for. Um, uh, the, um, I had a lot of fun with this. Uh, learned a lot of stuff along the way uh, it is a lot of work but it's work I enjoy and the magical thing about this is the weight I love that weight and you're not gonna hurt this lengthwise it's not gonna bow on you anymore and like I said earlier anyone can pick it up and and no matter how much weight I'm still putting more weight on her uh, she is going to um, handle it well. Um, let me get my pointer here. I thought I had a pointer here. Yeah, here we go. So uh, as you can see, the Marilyn Monroe Diamond Reel project is coming along real good. Um, these cross members, original cross members, will go wrapped around the bracing I put in as I did back here. Um, this is temporary to hold the shape while I build it up. When I get her all built up, that will be unsoldered off. And I won't be... It's hard to work if I don't do it that way because the ends just flop all over the place. And uh, I, I, it's just hard to work that way if you're trying to make it as tight as possible. This here, I, I reinforce the little hinges for the, the hinge frame brackets. For the hood to open and close and what I'm going to use is a telescoping um, hinge of course I'm going to cut it to shape this is just an example to show you but this thing rolls you put a drop of oil in here when you close it all up it, it, it's like roller bearings and that's what my hip, my hood's going to work on I'll put weight on the hood it'll be solid and when you drop it it's going to drop down solid I'm going to use Showtime Studios technique of lining up the <laughs> lining up the cab with the hood and keeping it straight when you sit it on the frame. Watch that video series from Showtime Studios. I, like I said, I don't know the man. I'm not trying to uh, lead you to something for my benefit. They're really, 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 really good video series. Also, along the theme of adding more weight, but where the fifth, fifth, fifth wheel rides, I had to replace that. The original was um, warped 
and wonky with bad paint, bad glue. And uh, what I went ahead and did is I fabricated one out of 30 seconds thick um, sheet brass. And I doubled it. So it sits between the rails, keeping the rails, excuse me, keeping the rails um, perfectly spaced uh, throughout the model. And I added some parts from the plastic one and my own brass parts. I'll add the other geared um, rails for the fifth wheel, to, fifth wheel to sit on. But this is heavy. So you ain't going to hurt that sucker. Uh, let me give you a little quick tour. It's dirty. I haven't cleaned it up. I'm going to clean it up and polish it because I like to have a clean look. I literally just finished. So there's all sorts of flux and resin and gunk. But I'll clean it up real good. And tarnishment where the solder flux heated up the brass and discolored it all that easily gets polished with a um, fine sandpaper or um, steel wool but um this is also tarnished this will be all shiny i'll clean up all that glue residue uh, this is just temporary to hold the shape i didn't extend the frame all the way out because it was too late <laughs> when i decided to do this after the thought but that's fine it didn't need the problem with the bowing is here not here and the, this part of the frame sits over the axle in the front and the two axles in the rear so they don't bend unless you put bricks on top of it this is where the bending occurs and oops sorry about that that is no longer an issue uh and you got the weight just um uh, I tried to shoot a video of the frame, box frame built up when I slipped it onto the blast, the plastic frame with a crazy glue. And uh, that's when it came to me that I needed to stretch the frame. So I had to pull everything apart <laughs> and got glue all over the place, all over my hands, all over my cutting board. Just, oh, <laughs> but uh, I really, 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 really am glad I did that because, um, and it was slightly too late, but. All problems can be fixed. Um, I need that stretch. That stretch is about an inch and a half. Uh, could have gone longer, but I don't think so. Inch and a half is fine. Inch and a quarter, still a little too short, in my opinion. Um, I am getting the correct headache rack coming in with the window cut out because my Marilyn Monroe Diamond Reel has a rear window. And. Um, other than that, that's about it. Uh, ask away, ask your questions. Um, this thing has some good weight to it. And uh, it, it's overkill, it's overthought. You know, to some of you guys, you guys must think I'm that neighbor that runs down the street like a nut job with his, with his hair on fire. But <laughs> this is just what I like to do. And I like to build things uh, to be handled with some heft to it. These are the parts I'm getting together for the my cab interior. I cleaned up the differentials. Um, just um, it's a it's a lot of little pieces. I'm still missing a lot of pieces. Uh, no instructions, so I'm just going commando. But I am watching YouTube videos and freeze framing your guys's videos and real pictures of the real diamond reels. And. Uh, Looking at plans for my other AMT truck kits that kind of give me an idea of what I can do here on my Marilyn Monroe uh, diamond wheel. The also, also, question. Well, question. All right. My question being, I'm not sure this is the correct engine for this kit. This is humongous. Uh, uh, I like it, and um, but it's just it's just ginormous. And I remember when the model came in, it was still in the model, and it looked like it had been shoehorned in there. So, uh, you guys who are familiar with these kits, if you could give me a comment about that, I really really appreciate it. Uh, what I am gonna go with, and I bought one a while ago, and they just lying around my shop for one day, is um, I like to buy engine kits. But I do have a Detroit engine kit that looks like a six-cylinder. 
there you go so um i'm gonna put this together if it, if it would be correct for this like if i owned the truck and i wanted to put a detroit engine in there because that's what i wanted so modern times so hopefully it'll work uh, any opinion or advice regarding that uh, if you want to share it I'd, I'd really appreciate it and um, other than that that's about it um my other projects i also love to buy tiger tank rescue projects uh, you can't tell on this guy here but i did build a cage inside a box made out of steel girders brass sometimes styrene but they got to be thick steel girders so the deck won't collapse anymore from handling and you can pick it up and and it's got weight it feels solid and and i do that in case little timmy my girlfriend's little timmy ever comes over and starts with his sticky little fingers grabbing everything i know my model won't get destroyed but this is a tamiya kit it's a late model i'm back dating it to um, a tunisia kit and so actually no it's an early tunisia kit with pieces from a late tiger tank it's a frankenstein kit bash which i'm back dating to a correct tunisia tiger early tiger and uh uh, ask me what those are one day and I will be more than happy to tell you but that's the real deal guys <laughs> oh yeah uh, that's a uh, pieces of a uh, tiger tank uh, tank tread real tiger tank I got a bunch of them here my other passion but uh, these things weigh a ton and uh, you know, uh, this guy belonged to the 503rd Optilum. Was it 503rd? 503rd? I forgot. 503rd. Uh, and um, she was uh, blown up in the Ukraine right towards the end of the war. And uh, I think it's called the Perchenko's Pocket. That freaking massacre at Custer's last stand of the German troops against the Russian onslaught. And this guy here was a casualty of that. So I got a bunch of pieces of this guy here. And and um, <laughs> just just um, don't, <laughs> don't ask me why I do this. Just have fun, guys. Enjoy. Enjoy the hobby. And um, if I come up with some more interesting progress, I don't want to bore you guys with this continually. So if I come up with more um, interesting stuff for the diamond reel... Um, Marilyn Monroe Diamond Reel project. I'll post it. I'm going to fill this in with styrene. I'll probably do that sometime this week. I'm, I'm going to relax tonight outside. I'm going to play my guitar, have some drinks, enjoy the evening. We're done with the hobby. Don't make the hobby your life, your wife, your family, your kids, your job, your house, your friends, your sports, your other hobbies are also part of your life. Get up off that bench every once in a while. Yeah, I love my Marilyn Monroe Diamond Reel, but uh, there's a whole bunch of other stuff I got to do, and I gave her her time today, and I'll be back next week, do a little bit more on it. If it's interesting, I'll post it. If not, I'll keep working until something interesting pops up, but um, to all you guys that have helped me out and commented, thank you very much, and uh, to, I think it's Throttle Up, thank you for the tip, or Throttle Power, I'm sorry, thank you for the tip for taking scuffs off the the window material i am going to use it on this project because the original glass is intact and it's okay but there's a couple tiny spots that are smudged with glue or something so i'm going to use your toothpick te technique i'm actually going to put a, do a little video on that this is a thank you and then show you the results another example of the great people in youtube and the great people in the hobby of, of modeling scale modelers not model builders or kit builders or hobby build we're scale modelers okay or i'm sorry scale builders okay <laughs>